Hello, everybody. My name is Graham Elwood, and you are watching The Political Vigilante. You're making Gotham great again. So, you know when you go to the doctor and they say, hey, you, you, you have this ailment or situation, take this name brand prescription drug? Yeah, the big pharmaceutical companies spent a lot of money to make sure that doc doctor does that. This is the problem with for-profit medicine. Doctors prescribe more of a drug if big pharma pays them. This is in truthdig.com. This is a, they did a study. It's pretty alarming, man. Doctors who receive money from drug makers related to a specific drug prescribe that drug more heavily than doctors without such financial ties. A new ProPublica analysis found. The pattern is consistent for almost all of the most widely prescribed brand name drugs in Medicare, including drugs that treat diabetes, asthma, and more. <laughs> it's a four year long study from 14 to 2018. The drugs makers, Allergen and Ironwood, spent 29 million on payments for doctors related to Linz, I don't know, Linz is some drug, mostly for meals and promotional speaking fees. They spent $29 million for one drug. This is the problem with for-profit. And somebody's like, Graham, I love Medicare for all, but how are you gonna regulate these pharmaceutical companies? Because they're so big, they got so much money, they have so much influence, which is a fair question and a fair concern. But the answer is not, well, we shouldn't do anything about it. Think about through history. Hey, Nelson Mandela, you'll never end apartheid in South Africa. It'll never happen. Hey, Gandhi. You'll never, and I mean never, get England to give up control of India. That'll never happen. Hey, Dr. King, you'll never get uh, Jim Crow laws to end. We've had 400 years of slavery and segregation in America. It's never going to happen. You just got to let that go. Hey, Susan B. Anthony, you, you, I mean, I'm just telling you, women, you've been, you've been under the thumb of a patriarchy for thousands of years. You're not going to suddenly get the vote. It ain't going to happen. See my point? This is why we need Medicare for all. And they're gonna spend so much money to try to prevent this from happening. They're gonna spend so much money, but we have to fight this. This is unreal. ProPublica analysis found that doctors who received payments related to Lizis in 2016 wrote 45% more prescriptions for the drug on average than doctors who received no payments. Here's another drug. 2016, doctors who received payments related to uh, Mabertatrig, God, these names, <laughs> Mabarctatol, Mabertatine, Lizdepan, I don't know what it means, which treats overactive bladder, wrote 64% more prescriptions than the drug for those who did not. Restasis used to treat chronic dry egg, doctors who received payments wrote 141% more prescriptions. This is the problem with for profit. Medicine. It's like for-profit pr prisons. Oh, well, we need criminals then. We better go find some. Let's make a plant illegal. Let's just round up anyone who, uh, you know, is coming to this country for a better life because we sanction the crap out of them and let their drug dealers go wild. How about that? See, here's the difference. Now, let's say I do an ad on this show. And I go, hey, everybody, here's whatever. This vegan smoothie, this vegan protein powder, and this is a paid advertisement, and that's why this is the best. So you know it's a paid advertisement. I'm telling you they paid me money to say this, right? It, you know, okay, maybe Graham's endorsing that product. Maybe that means I'll try it, or maybe he just needs to add money for his show. I don't know, but at least I'm being upfront about it. You go to a doctor's office, you're putting your hands in the hands of a medical professional who says, oh, you've got, you go in and you complain about whatever, I'm, I'm feeling this, this, or this, and the doctor says, oh, well, you need this prescription, and here's why you need this medicine. You take their professional opinion, and they don't tell you, oh, by the way, they flew me to Barbados, and they gave me a $30,000 speaking fee to talk about how great this drug is. That's why I'm telling you to take it. So it's like, it's insane. 
It's, it's, it's so corrupt. This is the corruption of big corporations owning every, everything's for profit. So anytime you hear we should privatize, no, no, that's bad for average. This is horrible medicine. And then the prescription drug costs in America are like 10 times more than like Canada or Mexico. And it's because of this. Across all drugs, providers who receive payments specifically tied to a drug prescribed, it 58%, they pre prescribed it 58% more than providers who did not receive payments. The pattern holds true for 46 of the 50 drugs. And this is what the big pharmaceutical company, the representative said. That doctors that have interactions with a company about a drug may prescribe more of it because they, quote, have more information about the appropriate uses for the products. Lies, nonsense, nonsense. You're paying them to push your product. It wasn't like there was a blind study of a half a dozen different medications that you take for this, let's say the dry eye product. And this independent company flew these doctors down and said, we did this independent study and this one seems to work more, you should probably prescribe this one. No. The company that owns that drug paid those doctors in any number of ways, lunches, dinners, and said, just push this one. When, when you're dealing, when someone comes in with these symptoms, push this one. We'll give, and some of them get kickbacks. It's not honest. And we know these, look, Purdue Pharmaceutical just had to pay $500 million fine in the state of Oklahoma because they misled doctors about the addictive nature of Oxycontin. They told doctors, oh, it's not that addictive. And they went, okay. They helped create an opioid epidemic and they did it just so their stock price would go up. You know, none of these doctors are saying, oh, by the way, just, you know, you can, there's a natural cure for this. I had a doctor a long time ago when I was in my early 20s, and he was a traditional doctor, and he was conservative. He had pictures of, of photos with Reagan and George H.W. Bush. He was, a, he was a conservative, and he would always say, I remember I had like a bladder infection. I was like, oh, can I just get some medication? He goes, nah, let's do the all-natural way first. Do, go on this bland diet, he called it. The, the, the GU bland diet, the general urology bland diet, diet, no salt, nothing that tastes good, he would joke, no spices, no nothing, drink cranberry juice, and we fixed it. Because if it gets really bad, then I'll give you a prescription, but I don't want to do that. It's a last resort. Now it's like, oh, that, oh prescription, here, because I'm going to get a kickback. At UCLA uh, Medical Center here in Los Angeles, they got away with that. They said no more. We're not, pharmaceutical companies cannot come in and, and spend any money in here. They're not allowed in. And the doctors loved it. A friend of mine goes there. He goes, yeah, my doctor said they stopped doing that. And the, the doctors can actually pr be, you know, practice medicine. I'm assuming most people get into the medical profession because they want to help people. We all need doctors and nurses and specialists. We all need this. Uh, the human body deteriorates and falls apart no matter what. People get injured, people get sick, it happens. So we need good medicine, but not if it's for profit and not if doctors are paid off. All the more reason we need Medicare for all. All the more reason to regulate these companies and they're gonna fight tooth and nail and they're gonna make it really difficult, but it doesn't mean we can't win and it definitely doesn't mean we shouldn't do it. You do the right thing because it's the right thing. And paying off doctors to push a product is not the right thing. It's not the right thing. This is what late stage toxic capitalism looks like. This is the end of Rome, by the way. The end of Rome, everything was for sale. Anyone could be bought. The Roman Empire that created all these amazing things, greedy, everything's for sale. So we gotta say no. The, so thanks for supporting the show. Like, share, subscribe, support what I do at patreon.com slash grandmelwood. You get bonus content for as little as $5 a month. You can also go to rockfin.com slash grandmelwood. Both links are in the, the show notes. Rockfin 
is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. All my videos are up there ad free if you don't like watching the ads. If you do watch on YouTube, open up a separate browser window, let the ads play. Don't click skip ad. When you click, when you click skip ad, I do not get paid. YouTube is throttling me. They're unsubscribing people. And we're still growing even with that. But you notice about three, four months ago, my, I was getting 20, 30, 40,000 views. And now I'm getting three, five, 6,000. They're throttling my views. That's why I'm putting stuff on Rockfin. I've tried Daily Motion. It's doesn't. It's a pain in the ass. I know YouTube's owned by Big Bad Google. Until there's a better platform or a way to get this message out to the most amount of people, this is where I'm going to put it on two platforms: YouTube and Rockfin. So support what I do. Progressive Comedy Tour in 2020 with Ron Placone. Starting in February, we are going to Tucson. We are going to um, San Francisco, Orlando, Miami. Seattle, Portland, Chicago, Milwaukee. We're adding cities all the time. We're doing the East Coast. We're going back to Nashville. We're going back to Atlanta. We're going back to Louisville. Just keep checking back at GrahamElwood.com and then follow me on social media. And I really appreciate you watching the show and supporting what I do because I can't do this show without you. It's just that simple. I have a PayPal button on my website. I have a P.O. box. Those of you who send me stuff in the P.O. box, thank you so much. And the PayPal, thank you so much. I'm assuming you want to be anonymous, so that's how I'm going to keep it. Thank you for supporting the show. I really appreciate it.